Hello mis amores and welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new. Jumping right into today's cleaning and spring decorate with me. I was running low on my Thieves multi-purpose cleaner. I am using distilled water, a capful of Young Living Thieves household cleaner, and 15 to 20 drops of Young Living citrus fresh essential oil in a glass bottle. This is non-toxic and safe to use around my kiddos and my dog. Now let's get started. As I slowly begin to tackle my spring cleaning, the ensuite bathroom has really been bugging me, specifically my shower. The water has been draining rather slowly, so I knew it was time to address that drain. I also want to recalk my shower as part of my spring cleaning, so I have to make sure my shower is clean before I do that. This is the new drain cover I plan to install since the current one doesn't do a great job at keeping our hair from going down the pipes. I'm just starting off by clearing the counters so that I can spray and wipe them down and also wipe my mirrors. As always, I'm using the E-Cloth glass and mirror cloths which are great to use with water alone. The tub in here doesn't get used ever, but it does get filled with dust. Eventually, I would like to get the bathroom remodeled and remove the tub to extend the shower. Until then, I will wipe it down periodically. Moving on to my shower, it is so difficult to get a good angle in here because it's tucked away in the corner. But starting off with getting everything out of here, I always like to clean from top to bottom. So I'm going in with my scrub daddy and scrub daddy paste to get these tiles cleaned up as well as the doors. Whenever I'm actually in the shower, I use that wand to clean and maintain everything. It has water, vinegar, and Dawn dish soap so it's great at keeping scum and watermarks off the glass doors especially. I also keep a squeegee in the shower to remove the water and prevent water stains. I highly recommend doing that.
again with the difficult angles. But the way this drain was clogged up, I'm just glad y'all can't see my face because I was so incredibly grossed out. I'm using my Rubbermaid brush to really get that cleaned out before replacing it with the new drain. Once the shower fully dries, I can go in and re for my spring cleaning video. Moving downstairs, I wanted to tidy up the space before changing out a few pillow covers and putting out some faux flowers for spring. I try to be very minimal and intentional with the pieces I use around my home. Items that spark joy and can be used over and over in different areas. This is all of my spring and summer decor, very minimal as I mentioned before. These flowers are from Amazon, they are the realistic touch tulips and baby's breath. While I love to get real bouquets from the store and handpick flowers from my garden, spring weather hasn't quite reached us yet, so they're not in season.
I find that changing out pillow covers is a great and expensive way to refresh a space. For spring and summer, I like neutral, airy decor, but I feel like I really struggle with finding that balance in the sitting area. I'll continue to play around with things in the upcoming week. The kiddos are absolutely loving these window markers. I am constantly wiping the back door down so that they can have a blank canvas to draw and write on again.
y'all here is the house all ready for spring i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for clicking on today's video and watching it all the way through i love and appreciate each and every one of you i hope you have a great rest of your day or night until next time adios